Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you this pulse motor that I just finished. It is similar in design to other pulse motors that I've shown previously on my channel. But what makes this different is the design of the coils. The coils are wound on this plastic bobbin for sewing machines. I am using magnet wire size 42 AWG, which is very thin. It is finer than a human hair. This coil has several thousand turns and a resistance of 1600 ohms. So, according to Ohm's law, the current will be very, very low. Now, the magnetic field intensity depends on the current, less current, less magnetic field, and also on the number of turns. If you have more turns, you have more magnetic field. So, since we have here in this coil a very low current, that reduces the intensity of the magnetic field. However, we have several thousand turns of wire in the coil, so at the end we will have a strong enough magnetic field to move the motor with very low current. Everything is connected in series, the two coils and the reed switch, and we apply voltage to the end of the reed switch and the end of one of the coils. This is the schematic the reed switch and the two coils and we can use a voltage between 0.5 and 3 volts. Let's see the motor work at 0.5 volts. I have connected the multimeter to check the current draw. The meter is in the range of micro amps. I will turn on the power supply and give an initial push to the motor. It is gaining speed, but at this voltage it does not turn very fast. So you can see the current draw, it is varying between some 15 to 40 microamps. So in average the current draw must be something like 25 microamps. And of course we can increase the voltage and the motor will turn faster. The current draw is still on the order of the micro amps. I added a small solar cell so that the motor can run autonomously. It doesn't need direct sunlight, it works pretty well with the light from the room. Thanks for your visit to my channel, I hope you liked the video.